Yeah, you can see it, the bait cloud, the rock, the fish. This is dangerous. Holy cow, nobody told me. I'm sorry. Who's that? I'm a fisherman. <laughs> you like to think you are. I almost messed up big time. I almost brought a banana on the boat. I'll eat it now. If I eat it, it's not technically bringing a banana on the boat, right? Yeah, it is. No, it's not, I'm leaving the peel behind. Okay, Adam's telling me that I shouldn't eat this because then I'll be technically bringing it on board. I'll tell you what, if you do and we catch nothing, it's your fault. I'll take the risk. Let's, uh, let's put the theory to a test. Does it count? Okay, we still got fish. Pikey Pike, pike Roonies, Pikensteins, Mr. Pike, Slimers. We are chasing pike today. We're hoping to get a big gator, maybe bring some home for the table. This lake used to be known as a great musky lake, but the pike kind of moved in and took over. Musky haven't been doing that great ever since. Today we're gonna to start off with some moving baits, some fast moving stuff, hopefully get some follows, see where the pike are. We're gonna be using our deeper and trying to uh, find the bait fish. If we can't find them up shallow at first, then we know we gotta look deeper. And uh, if we can find what depth the bait fish are hanging out at, we'll probably find the pike near the refrigerator. That feels good. Oh, the cast? Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, you decided to pick your paddle up, did you? It almost looks like we just went over like a cloud of bait fish, to be honest. Fish. Nice. Uh, you gonna get the net? No, you can net it yourself. Let's see. That's a little fish. <laughs> Come on, what happened to teamwork? Yeah, I'm getting the camera. Nice, dude. Sweet, we got a little one to start. All right, little pike, oh, the net. Okay, sorry. <laughs> First one. That's how you do it, buddy. All right. You bring a lipless? So that's a Strike King Red Eye Shad. I bought this literally when I started fishing and I've only ever caught one bass on it. Mr. Big Jim McLaughlin inspired me. Um, he's a big crankbait guy and he talked about using the lipless as a search bait when he's trying to fish a new lake and find fish. So that's exactly what I did and well, got a pike. This is exactly the search bait I should be using. Just cross the bait cross here. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I got that on camera. Almost caught my line there. Smells like fish in this boat, Ben. I would love to build some confidence with this crankbait. Okay, switching it over from the spinner bait, or the inline spinner, to a big, big cyclops spoon. Hammered pike last year on this. And this will get down deeper. Adam says he's seeing bait fish down at 12 feet, so this will hopefully get a little bit closer to the strike zone. Well, I like this reel so far, it's nice. I like the carbon fiber uh, handle too. Oh, that's the president? Yeah. Yeah, it's fancy looking. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Man. That caught your line? Yeah. Yeah, it's fancy looking. Oh, f I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> this is dangerous. Holy cow, nobody told me. I brought my hook cutters. Oh, this is a nasty bird's nest. Okay, so when you get a big gross bird's nest, this is how I like to fix it. How'd you get that bird's nest, Adam? Uh, I caught Ben's line as I was making a cast. He thought I caught a big fish, but I just caught him. No injuries. So you get a big nasty bird's nest, crank your drag down, put your thumb on the spool, push down, and you want to try and push that line up. Grab your line and just keep repeating that. And as you'll see here, pushing that line up and then engaging the clutch, pulling line out, and just repeat that process. You might have to pick at it a little bit. This is a nasty one. <laughs> okay, and there we go. It's coming out. We're back in business. Sorry, Ben. It's okay, Adam. Just glad I didn't get hooks in the face. Me too. Especially these ones are super sticky. Yeah, and bigger. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, they're singing that for balloon. us. The fact that we haven't seen any bluegill or anything up shallow, I don't know, man. Not even getting any follows, man. <laughs> Dude, it's warm. <laughs> Literally feels like the middle of summer. Yeah, it does. Let's go, Jeff, limestone lures, baby. Look at that Duke. What was this, the Rasta what? What was it called? Rasta tiger, something like that. Another mark. 
That actually looks like a bait cloud, a rock, and a fish behind the rock. Now you can see the bait cloud, the rock, and the fish. Here, look. That's sweet. You didn't even see it. I know you didn't. You weren't even like, you don't care. You're too busy retrieving your spinner bait. I keep picturing that big old pike head. Okay, so here's the thing. We saw that fish and it was chasing bait, but it didn't bite. It's just hanging around bait. Doesn't mean that it's ready to eat. I think we go back to where we found an active fish. <clears throat> okay. You go for a paddle. Oh, bite, 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 bite. See it? And that was casting this way. Uh, we got to do some mid-cast tr uh, triggers to try and trigger that bite halfway through. Well, at least we came back to the right spot. <laughs> Didn't take us long to get that action. He probably smelt the banana, though. That's likely what happened. See that? I'm like a Williams Wobbler spoon. It's like half gold, half silver. All right, I'm getting pretty toasty. Maybe we should call it. <laughs> My skin is starting to fall off. I, I think it's time to go. We fished probably the toughest conditions there are. Bright blue skies, no wind, super hot, and uh, I still got one fish in the boat, but you didn't because you had a banana in your belly? No, no, it's the weather. Ah. It's the weather. Well, it didn't affect me in the first that I, I, I got earlier. Oh, really? You couldn't repeat that, though? And see what happened is, like, that fish went back down and then told the other ones there's a banana in the boat. That's probably it. And we haven't caught anything all day. Anyways, hit that like button if you like what you saw. Subscribe to see more. We'll catch you later.